Risa was waiting for her mom after school. She checked the clock two times. How many minutes passed between each time she checked the clock? Now here's the first time. I can see here that our hour hand is pointed at the 6 and our minute hand is pointed at the top which is 0 or 6 with 0 minutes past is 6 o'clock. Now down here I can see that our hour hand is in between the 6 and the 7. It's not at the 7 yet however so it's still the 6 o'clock hour but now what we have is we started at the top and we had a half rotation and when the minute hand starts at the top and goes around half of the clock, we could even shade it in to see that it's exactly half, 30 minutes have passed. That's what we call a half hour. When half of the clock has been traveled around by the minute hand, it's one half of an hour. Or, in this case, we also can call it 30 minutes because the question is asking how many minutes pass. So a half hour equals 30 minutes. That's how much time passed there. Now in these new clocks, we can see that we still start at 6 o'clock, but this time our hour hand is now pointing at the 7 o'clock hour, and our minute hand is back at the top, which represents 0 minutes. What this means is that we started at 6 o'clock, and our, hand, our minute hand made a complete rotation all the way around the clock, and it's now at the top again, which means that by making a complete rotation all the way around, that is equal to one hour. And one hour is equal to 60 minutes. So between the two times that she checked the clock, one hour or 60 minutes passed. Remember, one half rotation around the clock by the minute hand is equal to 30 minutes or a half hour. And a full rotation is equal to 60 minutes or one full hour.